You know, ever since I was a kid, my mantra has always been this. And this is a mantra of a kid that grew up loving cars, right? I've always said that a car with four doors has too, too many doors. I think that for a car, two doors is just as good as it gets. So clearly, I'm of the uh, persuasion that cars should be sportier. Two doors, like. Four doors, me, don't like. So a car like this, you know, it's got a nice hatch, it's got two doors. To me, this is perfect, but a lot of people say that for Malaysians, this is not perfect, especially when you've got torrential rains coming down on you and there's three or four of you trying to get into the car, the whole moving the seat forward and all that, ah, too much trouble. So what do you do? Ta-da! Here is a very practical solution, in my opinion, to the worries of the people who don't like to get wet. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Hyundai Veloster. All right, now it comes to the time where we talk a little bit about the talents of the car. Uh, first things first, the uh, aerodynamics. The car has got a pretty low CD uh, value of 0.32. So the drag coefficient of the car works really well with the whole uh, coupe body type. That is positive. What's not so positive is the grunt that's coming out from the engine. It's got a 1.6 litre uh, DCVVT gamma engine that produces 132 uh, PS and 158 newton meters of torque. I just wish it had a little bit more grunt. You know, the whole sporty looks should really go hand in hand with sporty performance. Now that is, well, I just wish we had a, a slightly better engine option. Now, however, having said that, the drivability and the handling of the car is pretty good. Uh, it comes with MDPS, which is motor driven power steering. Uh, and what that means is that when you need a uh, lighter uh, weightage, uh, it will give you that. And if you need slightly heavier weightage, when say you're going fast, uh, it the uh, electrically assisted uh, power steering will actually give you a nice weight to the steering. One of the redeeming features of the car is the weight savings it's managed thanks to the lighter engine built from solid aluminum blocks and feature ladder frame construction. That, combined with McPherson strut suspensions up front, makes handling a tad more responsive. In fact, if the car feels slightly thrown off when negotiating a bend, all the driver needs to do is lift off and the car corrects its line automatically. Alright, let's get cracking in the back seat. Ugh. Opening's alright, big enough, not too bad. Uh, it's so great to not have to drive every once in a while. We've got our uh, super super um, here. <laughs> junior, okay Junior. Shall we go for a spin? Okay, jalan ya pak. Enggak ada meter ya. Okay, terima kasih. Okay. Uh, whilst uh, he's driving, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the interior appointments of the car. Uh, ingress and egress of uh, into the back seat uh, is pretty easy with the one door on that side. And since you don't have a door on this side, it gives you this cocooned feeling, which I like. I feel really safe back here. Uh, and whilst I'm back here, I've got more time to look at what's around me. Okay. Seats. The front seats are good. Uh, it's the sport seats, uh, and uh, the back bench uh, is also comfortable. It's not too upright, so that makes long journeys in the Velasta, um, I would imagine, to be pretty awesome. The back seat uh, split 60/40. That gives you easy access to what's uh, in the trunk. Uh, however, you can only sit two people back here because you've got, unless you like to have, you know, an ashtray sticking up your bottom or a can of coca-cola from back here then i suggest you only have two people uh, back here the biggest grouse as far as the interior goes is the quality of plastics used hard and scratchy and low rent come on hyundai you gotta get your act together in this department and leather is a cost option other than that the in-car entertainment system is okay with the multicolored touch screen interface that is easy to use the base model that we have here, however, does not feature the cool panoramic sunroof available in the more premium selections. Imagine, all that sits between you and the beautiful blue Malaysian sky is a vast expanse of glass. Nice!
speaking of glass, this large glass area back here gives you brilliant visibility. Look, camera, Sujun, let's, let's just show them how much space you get to look out of. I've got to say that this is probably one of the best uh, visibilities offered for a hatchback in the market right now. Despite the fact that there's a beam running across, no problem lah. You know, you can look out and you can see everything that's happening uh, behind you. Uh, the uh, lateral views uh, from the side as well, uh, 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 not a problem at all. And uh, uh, wings, uh, the wing mirrors are also large. So all in all, um, pretty comfortable place to be in. Uh, nice to look at, not so nice to touch and feel. But uh, for the market segment, it does its job pretty darn well. Ah, the Hyundai Veloster. Quite the conundrum, isn't it? Well, let me say this first. Uh, what I like the most about the car is the looks like. You know, I cannot deny the fact that it's a very pretty car and the whole aerodynamic package uh, makes it look really sleek and looks really sporty. But that is where I wish that it could have been improved on. The looking sporty bit, I wish also translated to feeling and driving sporty. Uh, the, if it had a little bit more grunt, I think it would have been a perfect car. It looks wonderful, it handles beautifully, it's just that it doesn't have that much grunt. Having said that, that's not to say that this is a bad car. In fact, this car really uh, comes uh, to its own uh, when you're driving in the city, when you're cruising. When you don't require that much of the engine, it really gives you everything that you need uh, from a car. Uh, that is, uh, you know, made in 2012, in 2013, uh, and is as today as it can be. Uh, it looks great, it, uh, it feels great inside. Uh, there are certain uh, improvements uh, that needs to be done. So Hyundai, here's the uh, message to you. The onus is uh, on you to actually up the ante a little bit more. You're already in the game. All you need to do right now is to make sure that you're not that far behind your German and uh, European counterparts in giving that extra value of looking great, feeling great, and driving great. If you've got that sorted, this car would have been absolutely perfect.